Hey, welcome to a new video. My name is John Skippy Zenkul. Let's go ahead out. We have new camera angles I'm trying to get used to. You're over there now, so hello. And every now and then we'll come back to here, or we can go up above for the top down view. So welcome. I'm really happy to see you guys. Um, this is a video I've been planning to make for a while, and now with 1.5 out and all the cool abilities, I think now is a good time to do this. This is a the coolest features of Unify 1.5. We've had five major updates out of a lot of plugins and abilities, like this whole ability to turn on off the layers. This is something that, that just came out in 1.4. And so uh, I just want to summarize everything. And the idea is this, I'm going to make this with the, the, the top 18 parameter features, abilities of Unify just to make sure that you're aware that Unify can do all these things because there's, it's, it's a fairly <laughs> large universe you can play in, right? And then the idea being that I will make follow-up videos on certain ones of these topics that uh, need to be explored more. I'm going to try to do this in a short summary. Wish me luck. Uh, but I, I want to really show what Unify has, what it comes with, and what you can do that makes it unique, okay? So really quickly, this video is sponsored by my website, PluginGuru.com. Come over here to get inspiring patches. There's 80 libraries for all sorts of plugins. Tim Dale's library uh, just came out for Unify. Saberfy is just, people are loving it to pieces. It's like each patch is multiple patches, six, seven, eight layers. Things on the macro knobs to turn on and off and show up and hide and all that kind of stuff. It's, it's super fun. We have all sorts of libraries, and we'll talk about that when we get into this video. But here, I'm going to go down the list now. In the comments, I'm hoping you guys will be really vocal in the comments in a constructive, powerfully helpful way. Um, but leave comments of certain ones that I cover that you want more information on, or if there's something that I don't cover that you think is a cool ability of Unify, and uh, just put it in the comments too, because there's more than these things that I'm going to show you that Unify can do. Let's get started. So number one on the list of things that make Unify really cool is its ability to load VST, VST3, and audio units into Unify, which means that you can go to this plugin page, go to operations, and you can scan either VST, VST3, or audio units. Pro Tools, we now have the AAX plugin, which means that now in any Pro Tools session with Unify, you have access to your whole world of VST, VST3 audio units for use in an AAX Pro Tools environment, which is really, really cool. I consider Unify a, a hybrid because it's got that hosting of all the plugins capability. Unify comes with 570 patches to play with, and they go all over the place. <laughs> From simple things like this to wave sequencing patches, like it's playing all these layers. Uh, I, I suggest that you play with the latch patches. These are some of my favorites. These are where you play one note in the left hand and the latch just kicks in and it's just sustaining. So now in the right hand, So there's all sorts of patches that go all sorts of places, some that are unique that you can't do anywhere else. For example, here's one more thing to show you this. I love the 64. This is 64 oscillators because it's eight layers of an eight voice unison sample set that I did from my modular. By using the pitch bin, I can take those eight voices and send each one to different pitch bin ranges, plus or minus. And if I go in the other direction, just goes to octaves and we have like a slow uh, what we call lag on the actual pitch bin right here that you can set the lag amount so it will slowly go from no pitch bin to the pitch bin range that you want so there's a ton of stuff in these patches to play with so 570 patches most of them made by me there are patches from airwave um, inside of here as well that are incredibly cool for the BPM splits and stuff like that. Up to 24 layers can be combined in a single patch. So we're only at uh, eight layers right here. I could do another 16 layers to this, making something even bigger and more powerful. 
The other thing that's cool is each one of the layers is dedicated to its own thread on your CPU of your computer. So for multitask of, of loading plugins, it's super, super efficient. If you just load Omnisphere on a single track and you try to load four or five patches into it, um, it's going to have a problem. If you load up five of those same patches on five different layers in Unify, because it's multi-thread, it will play far more voices of polyphony before your computer gives up. So that is super cool. The ability to split and layer is super cool. So if I go to some of these, in fact, in the patches, there's just bass splits where I could just say, uh, so let's load up two different bass sounds, two different sounds for the right hand. Right here are your key ranges. So you just click and drag to change them. You can also just right click on the left side or the right side. Or if you click in the middle with a right click, you can move the range as a block. So that's pretty cool for moving things around. What this means is you can use any of your plugins. Let's say you take Zebra. Now you can split Zebra. So you have two different Zebra patches in the left hand, two different Zebra patches in the right hand. You're playing four layers of Zebra doing a cool base split thing. It's really, really powerful to set up, okay? The 50 unique plugins that come with Unify is definitely a plus. We have all of these instruments, including FM synthesis, phase distortion synthesis. OBXD is a great subtractive synthesis synthesizer. On the audio effects side, we have all sorts of delays, distortion, dynamics, which is where you find Pump House, our own little compressor called Enforcer. EQ, including Filter Max, which gives you all of these different filter types to work with. It's super, super powerful. Um, as well as go to modulation, you have ring mod and phase mod and chorus. There's 10 different reverbs in Unify. These Dragonfly reverbs are available as a free download from our website, like I mentioned. And then under utility, we have combo box, which is, we'll talk about that in a minute, and MIDI monitor, which is really helpful if you're having MIDI problems. Turn this on, it can let you see what's going on with your system. Um, I think I turned, yeah, it's in the left hand, so it's got it. And it respects ranges of splits, right? So if I have this on a bass layer and I play the right hand, it won't do anything because that's not being listened to by the MIDI monitor because it's cut off in the middle of the keyboard range, right? Super cool. Okay, as of May, we have 31 unified plugins. And I'm adding three more tonight to the list. I'm adding Imp Oscar 2. So let me explain real quickly what a unified library is. A unified library means that we have gone through and taken every factory patch and saved it in unify format. And what that allows you to do is to, let's say, for example, we could take this bass and right click and say load into unify layer. This is this, one of these really super, super cool abilities of unify to load any patch from any library into a new layer and and any library. So I could go to Signs of Life. It's a plugin guru library that's coming out. It's for Omnisphere, so you need to own Omnisphere. If I go over here and say load this into a new unified layer. I now have Omnisphere 2 and I have two patches from Imp Oscar. And we could like hold down option to turn down, bring this one up. Okay, so we could go to any library, like we could go over here to OBE, to a base from here and say, load this into Unify. And a yeah. So every patch, you can make your own patches with any of your own plugins and save them so that once it's saved, no matter how complex it is, I could start with a simple patch and then I could go over to Unify and I could say to the standard library, what are one of those big lead 64 things or something like that, right? One of these monster things, it's power. That means it's got lots of layers. So you say, load this. And this is four layers. So it shows up just as one layer in Unify. Super, super fun. Okay. Also, as of May 2021, we have over 40 of my 80 libraries now have been unified. And what that means is when you buy a library for Omnisphere that has Unify at the end of the name, they all come with Unify patches. 
So you can go up to these libraries that are in this format now and like MegaWave is coming. It's not out yet, but it's coming. Um, and I think Kimoji is coming and not done yet. So we're about to release that. Like here's a serum patch. And then I could go over to Signs of Life, which is an Omnisphere 2 patch and say, load this pad with a plug. So all of your libraries are unified so you can load them quickly and easily to make, find and create creative new sounds super fast, okay? Super flexible, easy to use MIDI effects. This is very fun because a lot of you guys work with DAWs where it's got special routing options you have to set up to get MIDI effects to work. It's just all sorts of challenging problems. We could just take this one patch, go up to layers. You can turn on MIDI effects that you can see an empty layer. You can actually add MIDI effects in two different ways. There's this way I'm showing you right now where you can go up and say, add a MIDI effect here. And now it's above. And the advantage of this is that this way, one MIDI effect could be talking to multiple layers. I could easily go over here to Signs of Life, go over here and find a guitar, let's say. Let's load this into a unified layer. By just clicking right here and saying MIDI 1, that connects both of these patches. And then go to MIDI effects. And here's the MIDI effects that come with Unify. And I could choose, as far as arpeggios, I have MIDI box, which plays MIDI files, which we'll talk about in a minute. Um, or blue art. And by doing this, and then going over here to key select and clicking around, you can quickly make all sorts of um, And I'm talking to both the serum patch and to a, an omnisphere patch. Right? So that ability with MIDI effects to just simply call it up and route it to the, as many layers as you want. You can also, by option clicking the little bullets over here on the side, that's how you can delete layers quickly. I'm going to delete these two. Each instrument layer has this little circle with a plus. That's a MIDI effects slot. And you can just click it and go arpeggiators, blue arp. Go back to key select and play with this like that. And now, right? And just to point out real quickly, if you go up here and click the plus arrows or right here, you can go to the different program banks to play. Right? So there's all sorts of patches to do all sorts of fun things. Okay, so uh, one of the other abilities that we have that's really unique inside of Unify is we have MIDI box, which is a MIDI. I'm going to actually do this with something besides Serum because Serum is a CPU hungry plugin. So let's go to Omnisphere and find a pluck from the new Signs of Life in Unify format. Let's find some sort of a nice. Okay, so all I have to do is I'm going to click the little yellow circle, go to MIDI box. If you select from like, say, Unify Standard Library and then click here, if you go over here to Polychords or something like that and select these, right? Now, this MIDI file that's being played is a single note. And because of this feature right here called, here, here it is what, it's, what it is by itself. Some plugins have the ability to transpose that, so play one note and it will transpose it up and down. Play chords, it doesn't know what to do with it. Unify is one of the few that can play MIDI files polyphonically. And here, watch this. Let's go to Logic. Here, let's turn off MIDI box for a second. And I'm just going to play a new pattern just by going... Right? So I'm going to just save that out as a MIDI file. Just call it uh, Fun Jam. And here's that MIDI file, right? So I can go to MIDI box, turn it back on. Click right here. Go to my desktop, which you can't see because it's a mess. I'm going to go up here to the latest thing called Fun Jam and load it into Unify. And now, 
it took that MIDI file and now it's playing it in MIDI box. So just like that, you can play a single note MIDI file of whatever rhythm, whatever feel, quantize it, don't quantize it. Unify will play it back in MIDI box and let you do polyphonic stuff like that with it. Super, super fun. Um, we talked covered about this already, but the ability to load a patch into an existing patch. Let me just show you that really simply. All you have to do is choose one patch. Let's say we want to do keyboard and a pad. Let's say uh, the nice piano. The, here's the nice Steinway. Scroll down here to pads. Say I want to choose Mellow Jaws 1. Just right click on this patch and say load into a new Unify layer. And just like that. Then control the volume, so turn this down a little bit. If it's not, if you hear how that's the, the pads an octave lower than the piano. So right here's your transpose. You can just click and drag to get to 12. If you want, we have a shortcut where you hold down Option or Alt. And then when you do the transpose, it goes by 12. So you can actually go, you know, multiple octaves and... So let's add some other pad, let's say from Signs of Life, which is Omnisphere 2 library, which is here. So let's say load into a Unify layer, and now Omnisphere 2 has joined the party. And then if we want to have a groove, we could go to Cloud City, let's say BPM Drum, and let's say Inventions, Load, and just like that. And then Noise Box is coming out in a week. And Noise Box is a drum loop library with both big full grooves as well as elements. So I'm going to load up just some elements. Just I'm just going to randomly pick a couple elements and just right click. I have no idea what it's going to sound like. <laughs> and just say play and... So I've loaded up, what, seven layers, just playing around. It's so fun to get into doing this. So that's one of the cool, truly unique things of Unify is that we have access to like thousands, 30, 30,000 plus patches are now available. And you can simply right click to load them into Unify. Super fun. Ability to use macro knobs to modulate any parameter in any plugin. If we go to the macro knob page and let's go to layer one, let's Click on the little bullet next to each knob and you say uh, link parameters and you click this plus and go to instruments and here's all seven layers, both the effects that are on that layer, the mix level, pan, the auxiliary bus sends if you want to send to the four different auxiliary effect buses, plus all the parameters of each plugin. And so each plugin that's on each layer, if it's Serum, if it's Zebra 2, whatever, you have access to all the parameters. So on one knob, you can get an absolutely, in fact, here, I'm going to probably jump to another data to show you an example of that. I'm controlling the filter of the Taluno LX plugin from Unify. If I go to the link parameters, you'll see that it's filter cut off and I can click and drag to change the, the curve. So now there's more range in the lower part of the register or change the curve this way and there's less at the top because it's going to jump up there really quick. And this is for every plugin that's inside of Unify. So if I was to go over to, oh, let's say OBE and let's say we go to like some bold brass or something like that. And let's go over here to the link Number parameters. One. It has its own Unify knob layer. Right? So this is knob number two. If I go to the filter cutoff knob of the main Unify and I hit the plus button and I go instrument two Unify, I don't see the parameters of the plugin because it's a Unify loaded in on a single layer. But macro knob number two is set to filter cutoff. So now. 
controlling the filter cutoff of two plugins. And if I wanted to, I could have the curve be different for each of the plugins. So one's going to get brighter sooner. While the OBE is waiting for a long time down here, if I change this like this, now it's going to be about the same. Right? That ability is super fun. The ability to double click to add segments so you can have it go down and up. And have it be different segments for each parameter. It's just nuts. Seriously, this is maybe the most powerful part of Unify because you can use one knob to control any parameter of any plugin, unlimited number of them. It's not like we give you six slots to modulate with. You can do it to literally 20 different parameters could be changed from one knob. It's just it's insane cool powerful. Power. Uh, we do have four auxiliary buses inside of Unify. And let me show you some examples of how that can be used. Let's see, let's go to Cloud City. This is a library I did it has some BPM splits that get fairly complicated that do all sorts of different things. Let's go to like one with water or something like that. This is one where there's a bass, there's a drum groove. There's three auxiliary buses. And so I have different sends. Mounts. See, one, two, three are sending to one, two, three. And the ambience delay on auxiliary three, if I wanted to, let me right click and go down the list. Okay, that'd be fun to play with. And because it's an auxiliary bus, what's really cool, so what's really cool with this is say that, we, just, just as a comparison, if we were to put a reverb right here on the actual layer and make it a hall, let's choose one of the presets, nice and big and mysterious, and your level's down low, and then you bring it up. When you bring your mix down to zero, it's gone. Auxiliary buses are cool because the reverbs aren't, because it's just the amount that's being sent to that effect, when you bring the send down back to zero, you're no longer sending to the effect, but the effect gets to keep ringing out. So I can. Right? It doesn't just go butt and gone. And if I wanted to control the auxiliary bus number two by a knob, all I have to do is click the little bullet, link parameters, go to this list, Go to the instrument, because it's an instrument layer, right? And that was, I believe, number four. Yeah, number four. And go here to auxiliary sin for number two. And now listen to it. And now it's on a knob. It's turned white for the text. And I could say uh, bell, harp, reverb. And now when I play it, and maybe I wanted to have it also do the reverb sound on a bass. So like on that sound right there, right? So now I'm going to just do a shortcut, hold down option and click this little bullet and it immediately pops back up that window. Just a shorter way of getting there. Go to instrument one and let's have it do actually auxiliary bus one, which is a delay with distortion. And I'm getting, I can click this. Now, I don't hear it because I don't have these auxiliary buses soloed into the mix so I can hear it. So now this one knob is changing the delay and the, which has distortion on it for the bass without. Super cool. Now, if you just right click on the solo button again, even if you have multiple things selected, it will turn them all off at once. So auxiliary buses 
to have four of them inside of Unify. And each one of these can be as many audio effects as you want. And again, you can click right here and have access to all the audio effects for all of your plugins. If I go to Universal Audio, I've got all of these plugins available. They all work. It's wonderful to play with them. So that is really, really a cool ability. Uh, number 14, Combo Box. Combo Box is a super cool playground within a playground. What it is, is it's a single effect that can go into a MIDI effect slot, an instrument slot, or an audio effect slot. So it can be used in all three places. And it's just a playground. Go to utility of either uh, MIDI. If you go MIDI to utility, there's Combo Box. If you go to the instrument and go utility, there's Combo Box. And if you go audio effects, utility, there's Combo Box. And with this, you can set up um, let me show you just a really cool example, vocoders. If we go vocode and go to the standard library, I have these really cool vocoder pads. And it's combo box. And if you open up combo box, it's like, oh, wow. Two different vocoders, one for the left channel, one for the right channel. There's two different guru samplers. One that's playing the drum kit, and then MIDI box is playing a drum groove that's triggering this drum kit. So if I go to MIDI box and change the drum kit, that changes the sonic energy that my vocoder is being modulated with. And you see how I have this into the left of both the two vocoders, and then this guru sampler, I could go here to any pad, so I could go to a different pad, Let's go to a different one. Whatever the harmonic content of this pad is, like if we go Battleborn, which is really bright, it's really bright. All of that's happening in a single effect. Now doing this inside of a lot of the DAWs is, is really challenging. And so to have it in this environment to work with, for effects, you could do parallel effects where you have like reverb going into this and a different chain all going on in one layer. It allows you to make really complex things and then save it as just a single layer, which is really, really powerful. We have the ability to replace the layer presets with saved presets. So I could go to Combo Box Complete and say Celestial Dreams where um, it's got MIDI boxes controlling different keyboard ranges because the MIDI filter has the ability to put keyboard ranges so that way, different MIDI boxes are doing different things across different parts of the keyboard range. All sorts of experimental things you can try with Combo Box. So it's super cool. We used it extensively in our uh, BBC Symphony Orchestra library for the Spitfire Audio Orchestra plugin called BBC Discover or Core or Pro um, to like do a complete string orchestra. If you haven't seen those videos, check them out there in my channel. Uh, it's a great library. Really, really fun. Uh, MIDI CC control for turning on and off layers, number 15. I was showing that at the very beginning. If we go back to that example here. So let me call this up. This is my patch from the very beginning. I saved it so I could call it back up. And I'm going to go to the top down view. And from here, you can see I have a little nano control too. And I have buttons that I can use to turn on and off. This is done because of some setting up that is done inside of a folder inside of the unified documents and data folder there's a folder called midi controller files please go to the internet to our manual to read more information about how to set that up also at the forums.pluginguru.com you can get information from there but our online owners manual has all sorts of information on all of these different parts of unify so you can get to understanding how that works to get the configuration file to be loaded for uh, the uh, nano control. It's possible to use any MIDI control hardware that you've got. So it doesn't have to be a nano control. We just set that up because a lot of music worship service people are using a nano control to control their system. And so we, we use that as a test. The other thing that's cool with this is you have access to the volumes. Mute and solo buttons are all easily accessible. 
as well as turning off the layers. And what's fun with the turning off of the layers is it doesn't cancel the notes. So I can play the chord. Let's call up another patch and turn that first one off. It's still playing. I switch to another sound. I could go over here and just the drums. So that is a unique ability that we can do with layers. Um, at this point, we don't have anything in the interface for turning on and off the layers. Um, we will be doing something in the future as far as having some sort of an on and off because there should be a visual on and off in Unify as well as via MIDI. But right now, it's only a MIDI only. Also, it doesn't work in your DAW. It has to be in standalone. Your DAW cancels all that kind of capabilities out. So you have to be in standalone of Unify to get the layer on and off ability to work. Super, super fun and cool to play with. Polybox. Let's talk Polybox for a minute. Polybox is a MIDI effect that we created back in 1.2 or 1.3. Can't remember. But it's useful for so many cool things. For one thing, it's great for the wave sequence stuff. So if we go over here, for example, to writing new waves. This is playing nine different layers. Doing wave sequencing. Polybox, its its rule of thumb right now is to take each note that comes in, and each time it gets a new note, that new note is played on the next MIDI channel. So it just cycles from one MIDI channel to the next for each sound it plays. And so in Unify, each of those channels can be set to be a different sound. And so now, by setting up your MIDI channels here, you can see it's very, very fun to set up all sorts of different combinations. So on top of doing the wave sequencing thing, which is really, really cool, it's also really cool for extending polyphony, meaning either monophonic synths that you wish you could play chords with, or else a synth that only has, say, six voices of polyphony. If you have three layers and you use Polybox, you could make an 18-voice polyphonic version of that synth. And they'd all listen to pitch bin and sustain pedal and everything as if it was just one plugin. And I actually have, if you go up here to Mono, there's a template, polyphonic from Mono. And all you have to do, let's say we go down here to favorites to, I think, Repro. No, so I'm just going to go down here to Uhi plugs to Repro. One, this is a monophonic synth. I can't play chords. But if I turn on Polybox, and if I go down here and let's see, Polybox is set for four. Eh, let's make it eight. So I want to be eight voice polyphonic. This is set to listen to MIDI channel one. See MIDI channel one here, and it's listening to MIDI effect one. Go to the little bullet right here and say duplicate seven times. And now, so now I have Repro 1, a monophonic synth, playing eight voices. A number 17 MIDI filter. I bring this out because there's a number of plugins, including Dune, believe it or not, Dune 3. If you go to Synapse Audio, which is right here, Dune 3, if you call up any of the patches that are... Uh, using the, the hold down the sustain pedal it doesn't latch take your hand off with go here in the little circle click go to utilities midi filter and right here sustain pedal set it to emulate and now i have sustain so plugins that don't have sustain pedal response, you can add it. You can also do the opposite and say suppress so that we can do a bass and a piano split. And I use this actually in some of the factory patches. For example, here's one where I've got pad.
even sustain pedal down. So I can sustain the right hand and not sustain the left hand. That's because, let's go over here and say show MIDI layers because I have them kind of collapsed. Uh, the sustain pedal, it's set to suppress. And because it's set to suppress, then the bass sounds are sent to MIDI 1 so that they're listening to the suppressing of the sustain pedal. And then pitch bend is also not happening to the synth sound. I've made countless chord combinations where we set up the MIDI filtering in a similar way so that you have the right hand sustain, left hand not sustain, but it gets pitch bend, but the right hand doesn't. So we can do all of that with the MIDI filter. So super powerful. And then the 18th item on the list that is a cool feature parameter ability of Unify is its price. It's crazily affordably priced so that everybody can get it. I uh, didn't want to make it an exclusive club to get into this. Uh, my hope is that people buy libraries to feed Unify. That's how I make my living. So Unify is an affordable plugin. It's at a price that doesn't go on sale. It doesn't change. So head on over and pick it up. Again, there's a free demo version to try out if you would like. Hope this got you excited with what Unify can do. In the comments, if I didn't cover something, please leave a comment. If there's something you want more details on that I did cover, leave it in the comments too so I can know that to do a, a video dis discovering more about certain abilities that I just briefly covered here, okay? So thank you for watching. See you later. Bye.